Welcome back to Geek TV. I'm Jeremy. Today we're going to be talking about access lists through Nginx Proxy Manager. I've had a few questions in YouTube comments and even on Reddit, people are asking me, Yo Geek, how do you use the access list in Nginx Proxy Manager? Well, today I'm going to show you guys how and I'll walk you guys through the HTTP method and the IP method. So let's get started right now. Okay, so first you obviously have to have Nginx Proxy Manager installed. So if you don't have Nginx Proxy Manager installed, I have a video which you can check out right there and go do that. Get yourself a little bit more secure so you don't have to open ports on your router. If you want to know more about it, check out that video and get back here. Go do it. Of course, before I start any tinkering, I make a quick snapshot on my virtual machine. <laughs> As you can see, I've got a couple funny names there. Take a snapshot, LOL2. And I wait for that before I do any tinkering. So before I go and mess around with my access list and any other things in my Nginx Proxy Manager, this is obviously a great thing to do. Keep that in mind. If you're not using Proxmox, you should definitely check it out. So here I am on my Nginx Proxy Manager dashboard and I want to add a proxy host and I'm going to be using Dmix as the service or the host for this particular example. So currently out of the box, Dmix doesn't have any sort of authentication. So I wouldn't want to expose this or put it behind a reverse proxy to expose over the internet. So what can we do to change that? Well, first things first, we have to add a proxy host for Dmix and I already created the subdomain, which is dmix.geek.me, hit enter, leave the scheme the same, 192.168.1.45 and 6595 is the port for Dmix, I believe. Block common exploits for added security. And for now, we're gonna leave the access how it is. We'll change this in a little bit. We're gonna snag our SSL first. We're gonna go ahead and drop down and request a new certificate. We're gonna force SSL and we're going to agree to the terms of service. And this will go ahead and snatch a certificate through your home IP. And that's why you don't wanna proxy your domain quite yet on Cloudflare until this is done. All right, so here we are. Let's go back in and make sure that we are secure. This is a little bug, so you're going to have to do this at least once and then save it again. You shouldn't have to do it again. Now, if I click dmix.geek.me, it should take me to dmix. Here's dmix. There it is right there. And as you can see, it didn't give me any sort of uh, authentication. And we're going to change that right now. And now for the moment you've all been waiting for, the access list. So at the top here on Nginx Proxy Manager, click on access list. And then this, click this little greenish blue button to add a new one, we'll call it dmix, since this is what we were going to be accessing. We will click satisfy any for now, because right now we're going to be doing basic authentication. So we'll click satisfy any. Authorization, you will make a username, which my name is Jeremy, and then your super secret password. You can add up to five users for this access list. For access, we're not gonna be adding anything since this is ba basic authentication. Otherwise, you'd be putting IP addresses in here. So your home IP or an IP address from your workplace or any IP from somebody else's house, you would put those in here. And then you click save and it shows up here in the access list. Now we have to go back to our hosts. And for the DMIX host that we made, we have to edit from publicly accessible. We have to change this to DMIX and then click save. Now, when we click our DMIX host, it should take us to DMIX with a HTTP authentication. So let's give it a shot. And there it is. So you log in with the username that you created, which was Jeremy and then my super secret password. And you can save it or not. I just choose not to, and then you can change the color. And there it is. You got Dmix with basic HTTP auth with just a few steps in the access list through Nginx Proxy Manager. So really quickly before I wrap things up, I wanna go over the uh, access list again. I'm gonna edit this and talk about IP restrictions really quick and what you can and can't do. So in the access section, to restrict by IP address, you would put IPs in here. What you can put in here are IPs that can be accessed from the outside. So you can put your home IP address in here. You can put your work IP address in here. You can put a friend's home IP in here. You can put your phone IP in there. You can't put IP addresses like 192.168. For example, uh, local domain names. You can't use any sort of domain names or MAC addresses. So keep in mind, it has to be an IP that can be accessed from the outside. And if you do choose to use this method, you have to go back to details and uncheck satisfy any. And then another important thing to note is you have to go back to the dashboard underneath your proxy host and you do have to click save again. So just go in here and click save. Make sure you have the right access list checked and then click save because if you try to do this by only saving it through the access list and it doesn't work, that's why. Because for some reason, you have to go back into the proxy host and save it again. So that's the gist of it using the access list in Nginx Proxy Manager and adding basic authentication and restricting via IP address to your services. So if you have a service that you want to expose 
and you want to do it safely somewhat, you can go ahead and use the access list now. Now you know how to do it. So there you go. That's going to wrap up today's video. If you guys have any questions or comments, be sure to let me know in the comments below. If you found this video very helpful, please leave me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, I would love to have you as a subscriber. Click the bell icon if you want to know when the videos drop. It'll send you a push notification to your phone letting you know that Geeked dropped a video. That's going to be it for today. Bye for now.